if you watched last week's vlog you would have seen me and Zef taking the boat to more outside Oxy Marine where we were waiting to get work done on our engine. Well we're still waiting because some of the parts are really hard to get. So I, what I'm going to do in this week's vlog is I'm going to do something that a lot of you have asked me to do but I'm going to do it whilst walking along a beautiful part of the canal so we can combine canal history with the question that you want answered and of course lots of nature hopefully that I'm going to be able to find along the way. The question is how much did it cost us or how much does it cost us annually to live on a boat? Mm -hmm. Today I'm going to walk along the Shropshire Union Canal and aim to get to a little village called Brood. Bridge number one on the Shroppy, the Shropshire Union. Look at this for an amazing artefact. You can see the marks that have been left by the horses' ropes that used to pull the old narrow boats. And this metal rubbing post would have been built to protect the bridge and is a feature of the bridges along the Shropshire Union here. We bought Alice Grace when she was three years old and we bought her five years ago. And she's a six berth, 60 foot narrow boat and we paid at the time £68,000 for her. This beautiful part of the canal used to be known by the canal folk as the cut end and that's because the tolls were taken here and the boats were gauged here. This is where the old toll hut was and alongside the toll hut is the toll office which is Telford in design because the Shropshire Union is a Thomas Telford canal. And next to the toll office are what were stables and one set of stables was always kept exclusively for the flyboat horses. Every boat on the waterways has to have a licence, so how much is our licence? Our licence is based on that we're continuous cruises, that we're 60 foot, and so we paid £1,500 for our licence but of course that's going to change and there's a vlog I've done all about that and that's number 167 that vlog so if you want to know about the changes to narrowboat licences for continuous cruises then I recommend going to that vlog so £1,500 for the licence Bridge two. Amazing. Right, our boat safety certificate. Well, that's done every four years, and you can shop around for that. And ours cost us two hundred and twenty pounds. So if you divide that by four to get an annual cost, it's £55 a year. You can set aside roughly on average for your BSS, your boat safety certificate. Looking over the turnover bridge. This bridge structure meant that the horses could still tow the boats without being unattached from their ropes, yet cross over when the towpath was on the other side. As well as turnover bridge, they're also called roving bridges, changeling bridges and snake bridges, but they are just beautiful bridges in my opinion. something called the boat engine service and we have ours done twice a year you can have yours done more than twice a year 
it's good to have it done though regularly you can do it yourself but we choose to have an engineer do ours so our boat service costs us 200 pounds a time and because we're getting two of those a year we spend 400 pounds a year having our boat engine serviced oh it's so beautiful today it really is we're on the other side now Here's the grass greener on this side. Just looking at this mushroom. So, what about our boat insurance? Well, boat insurance you shop around for. Um, our boat insurance costs us £380 a year and that insures us for the boat and the contents. What have you found? A stick? Is that on your neck, Seth? Have you been rolling in something? The mile posts on the Shroppy are cast iron and were an essential way for the boatmen and canal companies to tot up how many miles the boats had travelled. That's cute, isn't it? The little blue boat. It's got a fireplace in there. <laughs> On our narrow boat, we cook on gas. It's the only thing we use gas for, is for cooking. And we have a 13 kg bottle and a 6 kg bottle. And roughly a year on gas, we spend 170 pounds a year. Water is so clear here. You can see the tiny little sticklebacks. Right, there's a lot of geese under this bridge. This is where the Canada geese hang out. Run a more hen. This used to be a wharf where boats would carry toxic waste from Dunstall Textiles Factory in containers and tip it in the land nearby. So heating the boat and Running the engine costs us in diesel about £600 a year. We're quite frugal with turning on the heating. We're quite frugal with lighting our fire and I'll get to stove costs in a minute. So £600 a year we spend on diesel. First boat of the day. The sport that we're doing is actually following part of the Monarch's Way. And it follows the escape route of King Charles II after his defeat at the Battle of Worcester. Every time we cruise and run our engine we are charging up our batteries which power all of our electrical goods. So how many do we have and how much does it cost to run batteries for a year? We've got four AGM batteries and when we first bought our boat, the set went straight away. Then on the second set of batteries, we did not have a clue how to conserve them, how to look after them. We just thought we were still living in a house. So they didn't last that long. We're on our third set now, we're hoping they're going to last another three to four years. We are much more battery savvy. We've got a good deal at Midland Chandler's. So for batteries, we're spending about £100 a year. So that's how I'd work it out. It's the famous shroppy shelf. There you go. Look at that. That's a great big shelf, that one. Fit a lot of books on that shelf. This section is very narrow and shallow and it's called the Penderford Rockin' and that's because it's made of Cooper sandstone which was so difficult for the navvies to cut through. It's your little young older just growing up out of the edge. Older trees are excellent for preventing bank erosion. Some 
little bit jelly here there. In the colder months we also run our stove, so how much does it cost to heat the stove? Well, we made a decision that we were only going to use eco logs and seasoned wood. And this is a really personal thing. We're not using coal, I mean, I'm asthmatic. And this time of year, my asthma is always worse. As soon as it gets cold, when it's very wet, all this really affects my asthma. And actually, if I'm gonna be really honest with you, the boat environment is not brilliant for me and my asthma. It just triggers my allergies but it's not gonna stop me living on a boat. So we made the decision that we weren't gonna use coal. The ideal solution, the cheapest solution would be to forage for your wood, but because of our work commitments, we just don't get the time and we can't dry it. It's gotta be completely dry. It's illegal in this country to burn wet wood. Therefore, we made the decision we were gonna use eco logs. I really like the eco logs. They work really well for us and we were going to use seasoned wood. We are spending about £600 on stove fuel. Right, should we keep going? Still not seen any red wing or fuel fare yet. Oh, the berries are gorgeous, all the hawthorn berries. Look at that beautiful white house out in the distance. Let's talk toilets. What have we got and how much does it cost? We changed to a compost toilet and the only cost that we incur with that is the coconut husk and that works out about £100 a year. You can get the coconut husk cheaper, you can use cheaper things to compost but it's working really well for us, the compost toilet. Hey, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh my god, seeing that red wing. I knew they were here just by the way they were flying and the little noises I could hear. Hopefully I'll be able to get some better shots now I know where they are. It's just so reassuring. I know I say this every year, but it's just so reassuring seeing our winter visitors returning, looking lovely and beautiful. Oh, I love red wing, I really do. Oh, okay, sorry, let me stay focused back onto narrowboat costs. The autumn day was drawing in but there were still some really beautiful things to see on this walk. got things to consider like boat maintenance and by boat maintenance I'm not meaning the big things that can go on a boat I mean just the general repair like the paint and the sanding equipment and those sorts of things so we spend about 200 pounds a year on boat maintenance so what about blacking well we black our boat every three years you'll know that we did it this year if you watched the vlog thank you if you did that and we put keel black on it keel black is like an eco way of blacking your boat but roughly on average you spend about 200 pounds a year on blacking if you try and work out an annual cost then we have our internet that's really important for us with our jobs and everything so the internet we use a three network and we have 16 pounds unlimited a month and we also use our phones which are on o2 network and that's about 20 pounds a month so all in all internet costs us 600 pounds a year and then of course as you know from what we're going through at the moment things go wrong so we have a contingency fund of a thousand pounds three bridges to go then I met Glenn on Narrowboat Goliath who sells ice creams from his boat in the summer and he does printing and pinhole photography in the colder months. The hair just got a magnificent roof garden. All 
all of these boats are stuck before Bridge 8 at the moment because on the Shropshire Union, a gorgeous oak tree has sadly fallen across a narrow stretch of canal. Crikey. Lucky no one was underneath that when it came down. I knew that I wasn't going to make it all the way to Brew today, so I decided I was going to total up the annual cost of living on an airboat by the stunning Avenue Bridge. Oh, it's beautiful. This magnificent bridge carries the avenue to Chillington Hall, and Chillington Hall is owned by the Gifford family, and they've owned it since 1178. And Gifford means chubby cheeks. Okay, with the bridge behind me in the falling light, here we go. Licence, 1,500. BSS certificate, 55 pounds. Engine service, 400 pounds. Insurance, 380 pounds. Gas, 170 pounds. Diesel, 600 pounds. Stove fuel, 600 pounds. Toilet, 100 pounds. Batteries, 100 pounds. Maintenance, 200 pounds. Blacking, £200. Internet, £600. Contingency plan, £1,000. And breakdown cover, £180. Drum roll. It's exciting as ever, isn't it? £6,085. That's our yearly costs so far on an airboat per year. Iron bread, rope sliced, snake bridge, moss spiced, mushroom buns, spore iced, glazed in autumn light. Perched crane, stock still, shadowed over water sill, angled neck, stomach wheel, fishless without a bite. Overhead, silver spoon, down below, emerald swoon, liquid sky, duck shaped moon. Rubies tucked in branches tight. King oak, cut reclined, smoke boats wait behind, ornate arches, palace wind. I bow in early night and pray my totals right. <laughs> 